All right, guys. So while my bike's warming up, I'm gonna show you this. This is my 1992 Jeep Cherokee Laredo. It's got 170,000 miles on it. Those of you guys that have been following me for a while, you know I uh, traded my other Jeep Wrangler, it was a JK, it was a Wrangler, for that Tacoma right there. So I could carry the bike around to school and stuff, it's a lot easier. But so I went to my Uncle Dino, I was, like, I was like, Uncle Dino, I traded my Jeep. And he's like, oh really? You can have mine. So he gave me this thing. And uh, I hadn't ran in four years before this winter break, and so I got it running. It was really easy, I just pretty much started it, checked all the fluids, made sure they were all good. And, fired right up put a new battery on it good to go it was absolutely full of my uncle's stuff and i cleaned it all out and it's all good yeah check it out oh yeah 172,414 miles so uh, i started cutting the fenders on it so like yeah i cut and rolled the fenders i still have to do the back i got some big old plans for this thing guys i've already got wheels and tires for it here's one of the tires it's a uh, bfg km2 33 by 12 and a half about 50 percent tread left got them on craigslist pretty good deal and all american racing black wheels yeah i mean that thing's gonna be mean looking so i'm gonna put about a three inch lift on it and uh these 33s and i'm gonna cut the fenders like i have right here i've already started that came out pretty decent i guess but yeah i mean there's, there's a lot more room in there to cut the fenders as you can see pretty excited about this thing guys Woo! It is freezing out today, guys. It's like 30 degrees. I just got back from a ski trip from Colorado with the ski and snowboard team from uh, UT. Yeah, I just got back from a trip. Can't find my freaking motorcycle jacket, so I'm wearing my ski jacket, which is probably honestly warmer than my motorcycle jacket, but it probably isn't as safe. It like looks flannel, but it's like super waterproof. Ah, uh, keeps pulling to the right. So yeah, guys, this is probably the last ride you'll see in Bristol. Um, by the time I upload this, I'll be back in school. Expect a little bit more time between videos, maybe two to three weeks. I mean, it just, this semester is gonna be super hard for me. And uh, there's a sheriff. But yeah, I've got like super hard classes this semester. Like I've got two math classes and like three physics classes. I've got like diff EQ, matrix algebra. Uh, that's the two math classes. Then I have material science and then like mechanics and materials. Then I have thermodynamics. And back brake. <laughs> Slowed her down. So I totally had a dream last night that I was in a huge group ride in Texas. I don't think it was in Texas, but I was in a huge group ride with like a bunch of like big name moto vloggers and stuff and i was killing it dude i was straight up like leaning it all the way back and i like, touching my hand on the ground he was looking at me real hard that time oh dang he's pulling me over oh i'm getting pulled over guys how's it going good how you doing sir doing well. the you over, man. You don't have any registration or anything on this thing oh really yes sir mind if i step off the bike and get yeah, no registration uh, you got it up under here okay yes sir i couldn't see it partner it's got well, by Virginia code, it's got to come about this far, but Tennessee is probably different. We're in Tennessee, right? You are. Well, you are now. We just passed the state side. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Virginia, well. We through, but, but, yeah, no, I pulled you over because I couldn't see your registration. Oh, gotcha. Well, I'm pretty sure that's legal what Tennessee means. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is as well. Yeah. But like I was saying, I just pulled you over because I couldn't see it. I, honestly, I just thought it was a dirt bike. Yeah. I think it's yeah, it happened. Yeah. I mean, you get that mistaken a lot, yeah. but, uh. Because, I mean, shooting, say, Virginia, you ain't got signal lights, you ain't... Well, in Tennessee, you can use hand signals. Right. I, I'd look at <laughs> the state laws of Virginia. There's a couple different tickets, right? Yeah. But, uh, I'll, I'll cut you a break or anything. You got your license on? Yes, sir. There you go. Thanks, Whew, it's nipply out today. It is, man. I'm surprised you're riding, right? 
Well, I'm about to get back to school, so I figured I should get one rod back in before I head home, head to Knoxville. Well, couldn't see my tag. <laughs> Classic. At least it's not a wheelie ticket this time. <laughs> Speaking of which, guys, I have freaking uh, court the 14th from, I got a ticket doing a wheelie. Yeah, reckless driving in Tennessee, right in front of Neyland Stadium. I don't know how many of you guys know, but Bristol is half in Tennessee and half in Virginia. And so I guess I literally just crossed state lines right there. So in Virginia, he definitely could have easily given me a ticket for uh, no blinkers or something. I don't really know the laws in Virginia. But uh, since I'm in Tennessee, I guess he can't really do a whole lot. Technically, the only thing I don't have is a is a horn. Don't tell him. I appreciate if you're it. Riding in the state of Virginia, go ahead and get you some signal lights. Mm -hmm. Under state code is Virginia. So you have to have signals in t in Virginia. Virginia. Is there anything else that I well, that you don't see that I need? Honestly, the way the registration's mounted, I mean, a trooper would probably write you, but now that I can see it, mm -hmm. and I, I personally wouldn't. Mm -hmm. I even got a tag light on there. Do you really? Yes, yeah, sir. I don't know if you can see it, but uh. I can see it. Yeah. Yep. So. I mean, I mean, it's kind of a gray area. Yeah. Be careful. Keep her up, right? <laughs> Will do. You too. Yeah, it looks like I crossed right over into Tennessee right when he was going to pull me over. <laughs> I kind of want to go back and see how far I was in Tennessee. So I'm needing the seats a little, a little rusty. Uh, last day in Bristol, pulled over, of course. That's the first time being pulled over for that tag, but I mean, didn't give me a ticket, just making sure I had one. Pretty nice guy though. I'm about to cut down in this uh, neighborhood right here. And this right here is all my tags all dirty. Whoa, look at this. This is all frozen. <laughs> Looks kind of crazy. Yeah, guys, that Colorado trip was awesome. It was dope. With the Crested Butte, Colorado. It's just so much backcountry. I mean, it wasn't as much like park, like, you know, like terrain park, like rails and jumps and stuff, which I like what I'm used to here in the East Coast, but um, still dope, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, I've been to Jackson Hole and stuff, but I mean, this was just nice, you know what I mean? It was kind of smaller, but still super cool. Woo! I kind of want to go trail riding, but it's so cold. Oh, it was a rock. But yeah, guys, sorry I didn't get any footage from uh, Colorado. I just wanted to relax and shred, you know what I mean? Honestly, no one else really wanted to videotape either, and I didn't really want to do like, the whole selfie stick thing. I think it's kind of lame, so I don't even know how much of you guys snowboard and want to see stuff like that, so I mean, it wasn't really worth it to me anyway. All right, guys, that's probably about it for this video. My hands are getting really cold. Yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Got pulled over, lame, whatever. Uh, last video in Bristol, guys. All right, guys, well, see y'all later.